A doctor believes Billy Ray Irick felt significant pain when he was executed last month. In court documents filed late yesterday, the doctor contends the drug that's supposed to prevent the inmate from feeling pain didn't work. That's based on statements from the people who witnessed the execution. And today, thousands of you have commented, reacted to, and shared this story on Facebook. And now, 10 News reporter Stephanie Haynes explains the latest details in the court fight to stop lethal injections in Tennessee. Nearly a month after the execution of Billy Ray Irick, attorneys are back at it again, fighting the state on its use of lethal injections. This time, Irick's execution serves as the example. In documents filed Thursday, Dr. David Lubarski claims that during the execution, Irick could feel, quote, choking, drowning in his own fluids, suffocating, and being buried alive. This he bases on these witness statements following the execution. And his stomach was pulsating up and down as he breathed. And cough and maybe sort of gasp or choke a bit. WBIR 10 News senior investigative reporter John North was one of the witnesses. He describes the execution as a medical procedure, and he says he doesn't know if Irick felt pain. One moment where he kind of jerked up early as the, uh, as the drug was taking effect, that was it in terms of quivering. You know, his belly rose, but I didn't see shoulders shaking, feet shaking. I didn't see any of that. At the center of this is the controversial drug midazolam. The documents claim it did not protect Irick from feeling the pain of the next two drugs, vecaronium bromide, which paralyzes you, and potassium chloride, which kills you. We're sedating the patient, then we're paralyzing the muscles, then we're paralyzing specifically the respiratory muscles um, and the respiratory system, and then the potassium works on the cardio system. Irick and 32 other death row inmates sued the state this year about midazolam. The case is currently before the state Supreme Court. Stephanie Haynes, WBIR 10 News. And Tennessee's next execution is scheduled for October 11th. That's for Edmund Zikorski. And there are 60 inmates on death row in the state of Tennessee. 15 were convicted in East Tennessee. Now, as we follow this story, we always want to keep in mind the victim whose life Irick took. That's Paula Dyer. You can read more about how family and friends remember her and the crime that took her life. All that at WBIR.com.